channel, I am Ines Gogar and welcome on my YouTube channel. In this video, you will see how to paint this door knocker. So first I wet the paper and then I add mix of two colors that was cobalt green and peacock blue. I decide to wet just half of paper, but that was because I'm not too quick so I'm not quick enough so you can wet all paper but not the door knocker now you can see that I add also the shadows and uh, for shadows I used uh, indigo and beans gray Here I use the flat brush because it's easier than with the round brush. Now I wet also the right side and I used the same mix of two colors. So cobalt green and peacock blue. So this is still wet on wet technique. And now I use different brush. It's easier if you use the flat big brush. Now for shadows, I use the same mix of colors. So indigo and beans gray. Also here for this frame. Also here, I use more beans gray because it is just a little darker color than indigo and wetting and blending because I don't like very sharp lines because also the shadow is not very sharp okay now you can see the different technique so I just wet my brush and then lifting up here is the shadow with the same mix of color. And now lifting up again. So I wet my brush and then I use the paper towel. So wetting my brush and use the paper towel. And now it's time for door knocker. I use uh, different colors, so this is a mix of Scarlet Lake and uh, Sepia. And first I paint wet on wet technique. You can see that I also paint with uh, cobalt green and peacock blue. So if you like this video, please join me on Patreon and learn watercolor with me. You can find it a lot of voiceover videos in real time. So every month I add three new voiceover videos in real time and you get a sketch, reference photo, list of materials and all support you need. So please join me and support me on Patreon. So now I paint wet on wet with uh, different colors, so uh, I paint it uh, randomly. So with sepia, scarlet lake, and cobalt green and pico blue. Here I use just a little darker mix of colors because it's also the darker side here. Also here I use just a little darker colors. Now I add just a little shadows with sepia also here and here I also use the darker colors now I paint also this hole with the same mix like uh, before when I was painting the door here I add the shadows with indigo and beans grey And now the shadows around this door knocker. So if we want to have 3D look, it's very important to add the shadows. 
and for shadows I use the same mix of colors so indigo and greens grey. And now shadows also here under the door knocker with sepia. And now it's time for door knocker. First I paint with yellow ochre. So I really want this gold look. So I use the yellow ochre. And then for shadows I use sepia. Now you can see the lifting up technique. So I just wet my brush and remove the color. Also here the blending also so I just wet my brush and blending some shadows need to be more soft so not too sharp and blending still also here and now I add burnt sienna for more gold look and also I'm adding the sepia for more shadows and blending again now this is cobalt green and this is a special technique where I have almost dry brush so I used almost dry brush and just dragging with it uh, on the paper. So be careful here how much water do you have on your brush. And now lifting up because here need to be more bright and now it looks more 3D. And now I use the sepia and also the blending technique and just a little and this painting will be finished. Hi, I'm Ines Gober and welcome on my YouTube channel. If you like this painting and you want to learn more about this painting, please join me and support me on Patreon.